You're watching Higher Things Video Shorts with me, Pastor Chris Hall. If you're looking for an easy way to support Higher Things, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Also hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss any Higher Things content. You can follow Higher Things on social media and our website over at www.higherthings.org. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, we ask that you remember us in your donations and prayers. Welcome back. You are forgiven. Holy absolution. In the stead and by the command of my Lord Jesus Christ, I forgive you all of your sin. This is a big deal for Luther. When Luther wrote the small catechism, 1529, 1528, it's either 28 or 29, it's somewhere in that area. When he wrote it, there's six chief parts. You know, you have the commandments, you have the creed, you have the Lord's Prayer, you have holy baptism, you have the sacrament of the altar. And the fifth chief part, the fifth part is the office of the keys, confession, confession, absolution. And what's interesting with this is you have Luther making a big deal about this. I've heard some people say, well, one of Luther's biggest reforms was getting rid of the pastor because I can just go to God and ask for forgiveness myself. Well, if that was the case with Luther, then why didn't he just leave it with the fifth petition in the Lord's Prayer? Leave it at that. You don't have to talk anymore. But it's a big deal here. So Luther includes it, and he begins with what is confession. And he says it has two parts. The first part, that we confess our sins. The second part, that we receive forgiveness, meaning absolution from the pastor as from Christ himself. Not doubting, but firmly believing that in those words of absolution, our sins are forgiven before God in heaven. So we confess our sins, and we're forgiven our sins. That's what confession is. It's not our work. We're always led along, guided by the Holy Spirit. That contrition, that guilty feeling because of our sins. But we also know and trust that our Lord desires to forgive us. He loves us and wants us to be absolved, to have the debt removed and canceled, to have our sins pardoned. And that's the point of confession and absolution. Luther made such a big deal about it because it comforts us. Of course, we ask God to forgive us in the Lord's Prayer. Of course, we ask him to forgive us when we pray in our room or on our way to work. But Luther says it's so important to know that you are forgiven, that even this gift is given to you as well, that you confess your sins, you verbalize them to the pastor, and he says, I forgive you in the stead of Christ. So there's no doubt. It's removed. The doubt's removed because... You've, it, it's there. The sin's out in the open. There's no secrets. It's all there for Christ to take. So be at peace and know that this gift of holy absolution is not a work you do or something to burden you, but it's pure gift for the assurance of your salvation. God bless you all. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.